The Oregon Ducks are the best college football team right now and number one ranked in college football 25. And the New York Giants, Carolina Panthers, and New Orleans Saints are three of the worst teams in the NFL. So today, I'm putting the Oregon Ducks into Madden 25 to see if they can beat any of these three terrible teams. But one important thing to note is that the Oregon Ducks may be one of the best rosters in college football 25, but when you put all of their players into Madden 25 joining the NFL, their overalls go drastically down about 15 over overalls each. And it's time for the Oregon Ducks to make their NFL debut. Real quick, everyone, I just want to say that about 90% of the people watching this video right now are not even subscribed, so if you're enjoying the content, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we are here with the Oregon Ducks first game against one of these three teams, and they're taking on the Saints first, who do have a case for the worst team in the NFL right now. Losing to the Panthers this past week, who will also be in this video, so if you lost to one of the worst teams, you probably are the worst team in the NFL. The New Orleans Saints and the Oregon Ducks going to start on defense, but there is a superstar still in New Orleans, and that's Alvin Kamara. Oh my goodness, Saints. Touchdown. Oh, they're down at the one. I thought we had a touchdown for the Saints, but chances are they're probably going to punch it in. Derek Carr going to have an opening drive touchdown against the Oregon Ducks. At least they could score a touchdown against a college team, it's looking like. Camara wide open. Saints strike first. One thing important, though, is that the Saints are actually a pretty decent team in Madden. Their roster has some decent overalls. And we actually still have Marshawn Lattimore on the field. He was traded as I'm recording this video. So the Madden rosters are not updated yet. So luckily for the Saints, they're going to get to keep Marshawn Lattimore for this game against the Ducks. Jordan James on the ground. Dylan Gabriel. Is he going to be able to pass against NFL defenses? And there's going to be a catch to the 40s. 48 yard line. I tried my absolute best to make the best jerseys possible and then also I tried my best to give every single player their accurate jersey number but some of them just didn't work out for some reason. There's a nice grab and it's going to be third and three. The tight end Terrence Ferguson going to grab that one. Will we see a first down? Can the Ducks complete another pass? It will be a first down and it will be to the 41. My prediction is going to be they beat one NFL team as the Ducks are going to complete another pass to the tight end Terrence Ferguson, the defense might have some trouble against an NFL offense, but the offense of the Ducks is having a lot of success against this Saints defense so far into field goal range, and we are in the rain, so it is not easy. Jordan James on the ground, and Jordan James tackled by Lattimore, who's not in New Orleans anymore to the 19. Dylan Gabriel on a second and one. He's going to throw that one complete to the other tight end, Herbert. He is getting it inside the 10. Who's going to score the touchdown? Will they score a touchdown? To Mario Davis, though, the first sack on Dylan. Dylan Gabriel is an NFL quarterback. Third and goal. Even if they don't get seven here, pretty good first drive. They're going to go screen to Jordan James, who will be wrapped up at about the 11-yard line. So they get points in their first ever drive against an NFL team. Next time we find ourselves in the red zone for either team is the Saints. They're looking to get another touchdown, make it a two-possession game. But the Ducks defense gets in the third and eight. Can they hold in the three, keep it a seven-point game? Derek Carr, no pressure on him, really. First down complete, Taysom Hill. Third and six now. Ducks have a huge opportunity to get off the field, only allowing three. Got to watch out for Kamara, though, out of the backfield. He gets stuck, but it's Taysom Hill. A clutch touchdown for the Saints. And now Dylan Gabriel from the four. Can he get his first touchdown? He will. It is caught for the touchdown. That's going to be Evan Stewart on the grab. Oregon touchdown. After making it a four-point game, the Saints are trying to bust this game wide open. They got a 14-point lead now. Fast-forwarding into the second half. Looking to make it a 21-point game. And if they do that, I don't like the chances for the Ducks. We'll see what happens. But first and goal from the two or three touchdown lead. I don't know if they have it in them to come back from this. But right now, 24-10. First and goal from the two. Over the middle. Touchdown. Rashid Shahid. I did turn injuries off for this video. So he is back. And I will fast forward to the end of this game. See if the Ducks make it close at all. Doesn't look like they're going to get another point on the board, maybe. The New Orleans Saints, the first NFL team of three in this video, are able to get a win 38-10 to over Oregon. And our second matchup is on the road as the Oregon Ducks are in Carolina, where we're obviously going to be taking on the Carolina Panthers. And we'll see who they're even going to go with that quarterback. We have the debut of Jonathan Brooks for these Carolina Panthers in the backfield. And they are going with Bryce Young here, not Andy Dalton. So can the Oregon Ducks beat 
Alabama's great, Bryce Young, who hasn't been great yet in the NFL, but he's playing a college team where he absolutely thrives. Also, Jonathan Mingo probably is on this team. I'm not sure how much of an impact he's going to make. I'm recording this on trade deadline day, and everybody's getting traded, and that's going to be a catch for Mo Ali Cox. I believe Mo Ali Cox is on the Colts right now, too. It looks like the Panthers are making trades in season because I am putting this team builder roster into an NFL season to make it happen. So the Carolina Panthers are going for it. They're making trades and they are diming it down the field right now. Bryce Young is doing a great job at the moment. So you got a debuting Jonathan Brooks. You have Mo Ali Cox being brought over to this team. And Bryce Young, maybe that's all he needs. Let's see, man in motion going across, going back. First and 10 for the 37. First carry for Brooks. He gets one. And that's Madden logic for you. I don't know how they're four and one, but can the Oregon Ducks hold right here? Three points. Don't give up a touchdown. Here comes the pressure. We didn't see that last game at all. But Bryce Young taking off for free. Touchdown, Panthers. So Dylan Gabriel and the Ducks offense. They put up some points against the Saints. They did get blown out. Can they put up more points against the Panthers? He was looking deep for Tez Johnson, who has unbelievable speed, but it's broken up. Hasn't been great yet. You want to pick up a first down here? Can they do it? He's got some time, but he's dropping back heavy, and he's brought down to Davion Clowney. And Bryce Young throws an interception off screen, which leads to an instant red zone. After that terrible drive for the Ducks, they punt, they get a pick, and now inside the red zone, gonna get that one to Jordan James, and gonna be able to pick up a couple. You want seven here if you're the Ducks, but he's getting pressured. Gabriel to the end zone! What a catch! But it's Trey Sean Holden in slow-mo, getting the feet down before being out of bounds. That's one of the catches of the year. They are in field goal range. They don't let me make a kicker in Team Builder, so they have an auto-generated kicker. They don't have their Oregon kicker, but forget the kick. It's a fumble, and it's gonna be a scoop and score, unless somebody can catch the Panthers defender who's brought down at the 11. A. Sean Robinson recovers the fumble for the Panthers, and it's instant red zone. The Ducks had a chance to tie the game with a touchdown. Instead, could be down by two touchdowns. Jonathan Brooks on the carry. And from the four, Bryce Young to the end zone. Touchdown, Xavier Leggett. Fast forward to five and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter, and this is the game. Fourth and three from their own 21. No first down here. Panthers will take over. Going deep. Hitting his man, Jordan James, though. In stride, Jordan James saves the game and gets them down to the Panthers 17. The Ducks have some life. A 62-yard pass to keep the game alive when they had to have it. But they still need a lot. Four minutes, 50 seconds. Jordan James on the ground. Going to get inside the five. They got to score a touchdown. So you got to have the touchdown. Once you get the touchdown, you got to get the two and a field goal. So a lot to work. Dylan Gabriel. End zone. Caught. Touchdown. Terrence Ferguson. Now they got to go for two. They have all three timeouts. Four and a half minutes. They got a chance to upset the Panthers in Carolina. Dylan Gabriel. Goes right back to Ferguson. Two points is good. And now it's third and seven. What will they do? Will the Ducks get the ball back? Bryce probably going to throw here. Let's see. Big play. Can they get pressure on Bryce Young? Oh, it's broken up in the secondary. Had a man open. And the Ducks defense gets the stop. A field goal. We'll tie this game. A touchdown will give the Ducks the lead. Approaching the two-minute warning. He's going to Terrence Ferguson, who is really heated up here. He's got a touchdown. He's got a two-point conversion. Gabriel, 250. Two touchdowns. No interceptions. Two-minute warning. I said they'd win one game. This is our best chance at it for the Ducks with one game to go. Gabriel going deep. Oh, broken up. Looking for. I couldn't quite see the number there. He was looking for Jordan James who had the big grab earlier. The big gains are coming from the running back. That's catching the ball. Gabriel. Pressure. Throwing it. Not away. Complete. How did he complete that one to Sean Holden? They took another timeout. Again, I don't really know if you want to do that because you don't want to give the Panthers any time on the clock. Jordan James speared in the backfield that time. They will not call the timeout, which means the clock will drain. Panthers not calling a timeout. A little surprise there, too. Play action. Gabriel sack. Luckily, did not fumble. Oregon, why'd you take a timeout? With 24 seconds, 
Probably should have waited. Panthers gonna ice. I don't know what's going on. And we fast forward to overtime. Panthers didn't do anything with that time. And the Ducks are getting the ball first. Jordan James, the best run that we have seen from him jumping in live on the field to 12-yard pickup. Now, in real life, a touchdown the first drive would win the game. Unless you're in the playoffs, which we are not. So, I don't know... If Madden has the same rules, we will possibly find out as we have a wide open Evan Stewart to the 41. And the Ducks beat the Panthers right here. I'm hoping if they score a touchdown, the game ends. That is what we need. But you got to get 41 more yards, play action. Plenty of time for Gabriel. Going deep. This could be the shot. Oh, it's broken up. Now from the 28-yard line, Jordan James on the carry. Jordan James inside the red zone. 16 yards away. From a possible upset, hits the tight end Ferguson again. He's first and goal at the six. Well, it's gotten a third and goal. A field goal is not the end of the world, but don't play conservative here. Go for the win. Gabriel to pass. He's incomplete, so they will take three. Panthers already almost in field goal range, though, so that's not very good. I don't like that. I want the Ducks to win this one. Bryce Young, complete. Mo Ali Cox. It's taking it to the 12. The man's not even on the team in real life. How could the Panthers trade for him in this same? We'll see, though. Bryce Young sacked. Bryce Young down third and 16. Third and 16 now. Bryce Young. Will he take a sack? Bryce Young. Fourth and 27. Now, this field goal is not super easy. If he misses the kick, the Ducks win. Will we see an Oregon Ducks win over an NFL team kick? is good it's not over yet you need any points to win now field goal touchdown doesn't matter at the 46 yard line about 15 20 yards away from a field goal gabriel oh he's picked no jc horn with an interception to the 50 and the panthers are back in field goal range sadly which means they're probably gonna kick a game winner jonathan brooks says touchdown winner walks it off against the ducks for the final game of the video, we are back in Oregon with the Ducks taking on the New York Giants. We'll see. Can we bounce back from that loss? You'll see the Ducks are 0-14. Bottom of your screen, they have not won a single game the entire year in the season sim. And we should have had one. Oh my goodness! Off the head of Wandale Robinson to start this game. I don't know what that was. That would have been a huge turnover if we can get it. But obviously... A terrible loss against the Panthers in overtime at the end. Should have had that one, if any. And now we got to beat the New York Giants, which are one of the worst teams. I said they'd beat one team. I thought it would be the Panthers. Will it be the Giants? Daniel Jones! He hits Darius Slayton Dave. Giants in the red zone now. You want to hold in the three. You can't give up touchdowns. Can you hold in the three right here? Daniel Jones over the middle, though. Malik Neighbors, former LSU wide receiver, gets a touchdown against the Ducks. We kind of know what to expect here. With the Oregon Ducks. So we're jumping in with the drive. After this, we'll probably jump deeper into the game and see if they're close and see if they could possibly win. Jordan James is going to get one. This is definitely the best defense that the Oregon Ducks has faced. You got Brian Burns, Dexter Lawrence, Kayvon Thibodeau, just to name a few guys on the defensive line for the Giants. And he sacked just like that on cue. Gabriel taken down. Let's see him. I'm going to watch with all of you. Do they have a chance to win this game? It's 7-0, 14-0. Ducks defense not playing bad. Now they're starting to give up points. I feel like it's a collapse here. Final game. We were close in that game against Carolina. Weren't even that bad against the Saints. But this looks like the worst game overall. However, it is 21-10. But at the end of the day, the New York Giants have beaten the Oregon Ducks. And the Ducks lose to all three of the worst teams in the NFL. That's going to do it for the video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. And I'll talk to you all in the next one. Peace.